Now, let's get to uh, the story about a 22-year-old from Oklahoma uh, who was on a ski vacation in Keystone who shot himself last weekend after reportedly ingesting five times the recommended dose uh, of uh, marijuana edibles. Toxicology reports are not yet available, but family members blame the suicide on the edibles. If found to be a contributing factor, this would be the third death blamed on uh, marijuana edibles since the passage of MN64. David, this is another case where there's still a lot of details to be had, and clearly the only people that have come out saying that the edibles were the cause was a family. And obviously in a, in a tragedy like this, I think a family can be, um, uh, can, really has the right to say whatever they like. We haven't seen any activists or authorities come out with this. Do you think that will soon follow the, this event? Oh, of course. Consumption of extreme levels of marijuana, like consumption of extreme levels of alcohol, can lead to psychosis. Usually we say if you chose to drink a fifth of a bottle of tequila, that certainly did probably disorder your, your mental functioning, but you're still ultimately responsible for what you did after you chose to go to that extreme level of intoxication. What we know in a broader sense is something from uh, a study that was in the December 2014 issue of the American Journal of Public Health, a uh, study done by, among other people, Daniel Reese, who's a professor at the University of Colorado at Denver, which looked at the effect of medical marijuana state laws on suicides in a 50-state study covering 17 years' worth of data. And they found that really no significant effects broadly, but on two narrow population groups. Males 20 to 29, it resulted in an 11.9 reduction in the suicide rate, and our males 30 to 39, a 9.4 percent reduction in the suicide rate. And of course, as with all social science, you, 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 know, you can never be certain, and you can arg always argue pro and con. One of the reasons they uh, hypothesized for this is that it led to decreased alcohol consumption among that group and it might also be a form of, of self-medication for whatever other issues these, these people had going on. So on the whole it appears that the movement towards re-legalization of marijuana may be something that produces a significant, very beneficial reduction in suicide. And I don't want to just treat you like you're our spy at the Capitol, but when this story came out, or even before this story, are there lawmakers that want to increase regulation of edibles, or is this something that's going to have to come from activists pushing that, pushing that part of the argument? It, it's hard to say, I mean, because there's not, there's a limited amount that lawmakers can do right now. I mean, we have a constitutional right to ingest marijuana. Uh, thank you very much, Amendment 64, I think that was. Um, and and so you, you can't go in and, and, and it would be very hard to write a constitutional bill uh, banning edibles, but um, it's... I think you're going to see probably more of the activity coming from outside the Capitol, frankly. I mean, I think this fires up the uh, let's let's pull back Amendment 64 movement a little bit. I, I didn't hear a lot of people saying, okay, this case is a reason that we need to relook at the laws right now. I think we've, we've been through this a couple of times. People have seen there have been a couple of cases uh, that have been very highlighted about this. Um, I think most people are still taking the long-term effect, though. I mean, yeah, we, we've had a couple of people who have who have killed themselves or killed others because of this. Um, but are these anomalies, are these things that we need to legislate uh, specifically because of these cases? I don't see that huge push coming inside the dome yet. Susan, what about you? Do you think there's a public policy push on this one, or is it strictly going to be fodder for the activists? Um, the anti the anti pot activists. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, three suicides or three deaths in more than a year uh, is statistically a drop in the bucket and I don't mean to um, in any way downplay the uh, what happened here to this this young man from Oklahoma but one out of seven deaths in Colorado are related to alcohol not not pot and nobody's calling for prohibition of alcohol in Colorado um, there's another issue which is, you know, suicide largely is related to depression, right? And I'd love to see a conversation, a statewide policy conversation about depression and what we're doing about it in our society because the numbers are astronomical um, rather than this. Um, and another thing is, 
this was a family vacation. I mean, you know, we, it's kind of like the case up in Longmont. We just, we don't know what was going on with this young man. And to, obviously he took way too much pot and people need to understand, they need to know what they're eating with these candies, which are really quite tempting and yummy in some ways. But um, th this whole story in this young man's life and suicide cannot be boiled down to one one essence of you know the THC that was in in that candy they can't. Patty, does this uh, event move along uh, the energy behind uh, anti-pot activism? For a while, it's going to. I mean, you saw just how the mainstream media really grabbed onto it because it was a fun headline for them. You know, pot uh, makes kid kill himself. There's so many other questions. For example, I don't know that many people who bring their handgun when they're going skiing, unless he was trying out for, what's that Olympic event where you ski Biathlon. and you shoot? Biathlon, thank you. You need a so, rifle. For that. I know you need a rifle. I just didn't know the name of it. But I'm just saying, OK, maybe he was doing his own little version and shooting his handgun. Why you need it for protection in the deep, dark, corners of Summit County, why you take it on your vacation, clearly there's a lot more at, at play here. We don't hear anyone talking about banning vacations, banning skiing, banning guns, um, and we'll b find out more. You wish you would hear a lot more about suicide than you heard in this case about pot being the culprit. Exactly. I think I would agree with you and, and Susan, the converse, deeper conversation about depression and, and mental health certainly needs to take place.